Ukrainian military destroys 28 Russian ships since all-out war began. The Ukrainian armed forces have destroyed a total of 28 Russian ships, including the submarine Rostov na Donu. Dmitry Pletenchuk, spokesman for the Ukrainian Navy, announced this. He clarified this count includes the Rostov Nardonu submarine, which was destroyed while in dry dock. He stated that the Ukrainian armed forces have destroyed three Russian crews, missile carriers, a submarine, and two new Russian ships, the Askold and Cyclone. Among the destroyed ships are three cruise missile carriers, a submarine, and two new ships, specifically the newest ones, the Askold and Cyclone. These vessels represent various classes, ranging from a flagship missile cruiser to missile boats and units designed for deploying small numbers of troops and patrolling, such as the Raptor, Cerner, and Tunets, emphasized the Ukrainian Navy spokesman. In June, Ukrainian Navy spokesman Dmitry Pletenchuk said the Ukrainian military has managed to disable a third of the Russian Black Sea Fleet's ships. Recall on the night of March the 4th to the 5th, 2024, the Group 13 Special Unit of the Main Directorate of Intelligence of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine, in cooperation with the Ukrainian Navy, conducted an operation to destroy the Russian patrol ship Sergei Kotov, which was only launched in 2022 near the Kirsch Strait. Russia used the ship for attacks on the territory of Ukraine, in particular at one time on Snake Island. The cost of the sunken ship is about $65 million. The strike was carried out by Magura V-5 naval drones. The Russian ship suffered damage to the stern, right and left sides. Also, on February the 14th, Ukrainian naval drones sank the large landing ship Caesar Kunikov near Alupka in Crimea. On January the 31st, the R-334 Ivanovets missile boat was sunk on Lake Danuslav. And on December the 26th, 2023, the large landing ship Novacherkask was hit by storm shadow missiles. On September the 13th, 2023, the Rostov on Don submarine and the large landing ship Minsk were hit as a result of a missile attack on the Severmozavod. Russia may run out of military equipment by the end of the year. Russia may run out of equipment by the end of this year. This was stated on air by military expert, military pilot instructor, reserve colonel of Ukraine, Roman Svitan, on Channel 24. It is noted that the Russian occupation army currently holds its main resources in Donbass, but the enemy is already starting to burn them. Meanwhile, in the Kharkov direction, the Russians do not have enough manpower or equipment. Svitan believes that there may be several reasons for this. Moscow did this on purpose and abandoned the occupiers to their deaths, a lack of resources, and the inability of the Russian command to calculate the required amount of resources. According to him, because of this problem, Russia begins to throw unprepared reserves into battle. Since Ukrainian troops destroy the enemy very quickly, the aggressor country simply does not have time to prepare reserves, says Svitan. The issue is not even in preparation, but in staffing. There is no equipment. Certain estimates indicate that by the end of the year, it may run out completely and the Russians will work on the fly. And this is possible at most on a front section of 100 kilometers, the expert explained. This is precisely why the Kremlin is trying to stop the fighting and stockpile equipment. Russia's unsustainable war spending masks underlying weakness and fragility, and the economic costs for Russia are mounting and will compound over time. Meanwhile, NATO allies have been making historic investments in their own defense industrial bases, he said, as well as increasing defense spending. This year, Ukraine, with the support of the United States and other allies and partners, has made remarkable diplomatic progress as well, he said, including bilateral defense security cooperation agreements between Ukraine and some 20 allies designed for long-term assistance. Earlier, U.S. Central Intelligence Agency Director William Burns warned that without more U.S. military support, Ukraine could lose on the battlefield, but that with support, Kyiv's forces could hold their own this year. Whether or not Ukraine can recover the territory that Russia has taken, though, is less clear. Russia is grappling with Ukrainian drone strikes on its oil refining industry deep inside Russia and missile attacks using U.S. weaponry on Crimea, which Russia annexed from Ukraine in 2014 and now considers to be part of Russia.